Hello, this is the continuation of the uh, series of videos on the testing strategies for the ACS Organic Chemistry Final. This particular one is we're just going to do a couple questions on acids and bases. So for this one, for the first one's asking about the predominant form of the FPH8, so we're looking at amino acids. So one of the things to remember about these is that with um, at low pH at um, neutral and at high pH. So what's the form for the amine and for the carboxylic acid? And so low pH, it's, a, it's acidic. So you're going to have a lot of, a lot of protons around, a lot of H pluses. So that means this is going to be protonated. So, so they're both going to be protonated, which means this has a plus one charge. This has a um, zero charge. At neutral, it's um, a little bit well, I should say at high pH, like that. So this is basic. So there's, uh, it's going to want to be deep. Things are going to be deprotonated. Um, so here, um, it's going to be zero charge, and you're not going to have any um, protons around to, to make this uh, plus one. But this um, hydrogen here is going to get ripped away uh, from the carboxylic acid. That's going to be a negative form. At the neutral, both of these are charged in their respective ways. So it's plus one, minus one. Okay. So this one isn't going to go um, at neutral. This is going to be uh, this is going to need to be a plus one. Same way with this one, you would, you would rip this away, so it would end up being here. If you have multiple, um, if you have say a peptide space, um, multiple, ones, you just simply add up the charges. You you find all the amines. Um, you know, there's you don't want the end terminal any of at the end of say a lysine. Um, you just assign the plus ones, and then you, any carboxylic acids you've got, um, assign those to, say, if we're talking about neutral, any negative ones, and you just add them all up. That would be the total charge. But for this particular amino acid, uh, at neutral pH, the carboxylic acid and the amine are both in that charge form. So which is the strongest base? So you can think about this in two ways. When they're talking about um, base strength or acid strength, things like that, particularly with base, you can think about um, the fact that if you have a strong base, that means you have a weak acid. If they're asking about a weak base, weakest base, you can look at the strongest acid. Sometimes acid is a little bit easier to think about, um, to like that. And so, what you want to see is um, figure out one where the most acidic hydrogen is. And so, for here, it's going to be this this OH. Um, and so, there's sort of a um, checklist of things you want to do is, is one is just, um, add them you know sort of add them where each is attached this one you want um, closest um, to iodine on the ferret table okay so just like if you want to go H F H C L H B R H I the acidity increases just the same as if you had, say, an OH versus an SH. And the SH is going to be more acidic than OH. Things like that. So an H, you have an H bond versus a pH bond. Right? It's going to be more acidic as you go down. You know, an OH is going to be more acidic than NH. So like that. Now after that, is that still a tie? Then what you want to do is you, you need to look to see a um, adjacent double bonds. Um, I should say pi bonds. Doesn't matter, it's either, you know, things like carbon-carbon bonds, carbon-oxygen bonds, C triple bond ends, things like that. If you have those adjacent to it, it's going to be more acidic. So in this case, right, all of these have double bonds, right, so that's going to be, that's going to make these much more acidic than this one that doesn't. And so you can go and say, oh, that's it, because it does not have the, um, the double bond adjacent to it, so that's it. Okay. Now, if we were going to ask which one is the, is the uh, weakest base, we would say, we could conversely say that it's the um, um, the most acidic. But that, for that one, it would be this one, because you have two electronegative groups on it. So if there's still a tie in this one, you would look for electronegative. So again, you can you can use this 
acidity, you can tie that in um, the strength of the acid compared to the strength of the base in the inverse relationship. So like for this one, if you're looking for most acidic, uh, hydrogen, stuff like that. So for here, you have an all alkane. That's never going to be acidic, so you know that's not it. Um, so for this one, you'd say, okay, well, we have one, you know, so let's say we looked at this CH bond. If we're looking at those, right, it's next to a, 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 um, um, a pi bond. This one, this CH2, is also next to a pi bond. This one right here is adjacent to two, and so that one would be the most acidic. So this is the most acidic. The next one would actually be this one, the ketone. So aldehydes and ketones are actually more acidic than esters uh, than esters. So you have to be careful about that. Um, so, like that. so this would be number two, this would be number three, this would be number four, if you wanted to get these in a row. So this is the most acidic. This is the least. So one, two, three, four. Now for this one, right, you're going to look at which, which of the protons has the lowest pKa. So this, this just means, this lowest pKa just means most acidic. So don't let the, um, the um, description fool you. So you're looking at you know, OH bonds are going to be more acidic than CH bonds, stuff like that. And so, um, you know, so here's a CH, here's a CH2. Now this one's next to a carboxylic acid, so you know, it's next to the ketone, but it's definitely it's a CH bond. So you're not going to have to worry about, you know, to worry about that. So it's not going to be those. It's not going to be any of these, these hydrogens here. So what you're doing is you're looking at this OH, this OH, and this OH. So this one doesn't have any adjacent um, pi bonds. This one is too far away. It would need to be right here or right here. So it's not really this one. This, so it's down to, to these two. They both have adjacent pi bonds. Right? So, that, so here's the phenol. So you have a carbon-carbon double bond. Here you have a carbon-oxygen um, pi bond. So, so that's still a tie. Okay. So we know that you know OH is going to be more acidic than CH. Okay, both of these have um, adjacent pi bonds. Okay, this one doesn't. Then you look for electronegative groups. Here we it's carbon carbon. Here it's carbon oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon is, and so that makes this more acidic. So you can go through those progressions. Okay, so that's going to be the most acidic hydrogen. So good luck.